Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukoden 2. In the last episode, we escaped the Mercenary 4 as we have lost the Luca Blight. And, uh, Rio and Joey got two aspects of the rune of beginning the Black Sword rune and the Bright Shield rune. How that works is, uh, Joey's got the more offensive version of it, and uh, Rio's got the defense version, which is healing and stuff. Anyways, the thing about the rune of beginning is it actually started off as one rune and kind of broke off. And what I'm happening was the the shield that it turned into two runes, the shield rune and the bright shield rune, and the um, black sword rune. Now the thing about it was that they, uh, you know. The black sword rune said, "Oh, I can pierce through anything," and the the, the uh, shield rune said, "I could defend anything." So, what they ended up doing was having like a little contest, and they actually broke, and uh, they turned into what they are now. So let's show off these runes, as they are very awesome. So his ability is great. So let's try to go to Muse City. Now, at this point in the game, if you wanted to, I would uh, suggest you could try and do the Muse and Matilda uh, trick because now you actually have like healing, a healing rune. You have an attack rune. You might actually be able to beat some of those enemies up there. So um, if you need to, you could do that. But I'm not going to. I'll probably. Uh, I want to do show off how much you'll level up if you do it, but I don't know if I'm going to do it right away. Probably, um, before a certain event I'll do it. Yeah, let's not lose our tempers. Listen, we have to meet an old grump named Victor. Can you just listen, okay? Don't be ridiculous. A buzz-off little pug nose. Apparently she doesn't have the, uh, Seductive abilities of Rena. What did you just call me? I called you Pugno Shrimp. Now buzz off. So we can't get in unless we have some sort of pass. Which sucks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Frog faced, whiny, tomboy. Ah, I'll rip your lips off your history. we gonna get in the muse now. Yeah. So it looks like we're gonna have to figure out another way in. We did see a uh, little place on the way here. So let's go in and see what it was all about. And this is the White Deer Inn. And this is actually uh, some good music here. Let's go inside. Hello, welcome to the White Deer Inn. The beds are clean and breakfast is included. Nice. Yeah. Well, um, maybe. But you'd be surprised how many people stay here. Sure. Oh, look at this guy named Alex. Found his way to the treasure. It's not. A, is it a failure? Hmm. So apparently, this guy found a treasure somewhere. I don't want you to. What are you talking about, Hilda? I'm doing this thing for you. Anyways, I'm gonna find some people to help. Hat man. Yeah, was that your husband? He's obsessed with treasure hunting. I don't know what to do. Well, should I show you to your room? Sure. You could use a nap. Especially since we can't get into uh, 
Muse, maybe we can think of something. We're apparently late sleepers, I guess. Uh-oh. Get out of bed! Yeah. <laughs> Throw water on him again. Huh? Oh, is it morning? Yes, it is. Let's go. I didn't know uh, squirrels, flying squirrels, would sleep in the bed. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so what the hell are we gonna do? Anyways, before we do anything, let's talk to some of the people here. Such as this guy. He's a he's a store guy. He's only here once, I think. Sweet. I love how he has, uh... Oh, this guy has nothing. Let's give it to him. Belt of strength. Ugh, I should probably... Let's see what else he's got. Throat drops. Leather capes. Leggings. Medicine. We got a lot of medicine. Let's buy another belt of strength, which... Six defense, five strength. All right, cool. Let's give that right to, uh... Let's give that to you, I guess. Because you'll need the, uh... I'll give you boots. And I'll give you leggings. You can't be equipped with anything. What about you? You could use boots. And, yeah, alright. Alright, so I can get rid of this cape. So thank goodness for this cold ball. Huh? And you know what? I'm gonna equip this killer rune on someone. Sell this bandana. Sell these gloves. Sell this cape. And that's it. Alright, uh, who are you? A rune master? Nice, we can buy some runes. Fire, earth, pixie, kite. Hmm. Huh. Alright, um, personally I can't buy any of this. But I can attach a killer rune. I'm gonna actually, for the time being, I'm gonna attach it onto, uh... Oh, I can't attach it on one. You, you know what, let's give it to... No, I'm going to give it to you for now. It costs 400 pots to do that. But it's well worth it. And this little kid's name is Pete, just like me! Too bad he doesn't have a face. Like his parents. Yeah, sure, we'll come again. Alex, what's wrong? Can I get into the city? Hmm, huh. sounds like you're having the same problem we are. Yeah, well... I guess... Yeah, do you have an entry permit? Yeah, you think you can give it to us? Hmm. Okay, I'll make you an offer. You guys help me look for the treasure and I'll lend you my entry permit. How about it? Sure, we'll help. We got nothing better to do. 
the hell, Joey? What's wrong with you, Mr. Silent Guy? Alright, well, we probably shouldn't take the flying squirrel either, but... Yeah, be a good girl. We'll be back soon. Okay, now we're ready to ruins is in the back of the inn. Alright. Alright, well be careful. Alex joins the convoy. Alright, have fun with Pete. We'll be back. There's a lot of treasures to find in this place. So that's a good thing. Also a good time to level up, although we don't have any any option to like um like sharpen our weapons or anything like that. This is inscription is in Sindarian. Yeah, Sindar is an ancient lost race, and they're kind of—I don't know if they're connected with the True Runes at all. I think they are. They might be. Oh, you have, huh? Oh, look at that. We've opened up... We've opened up the, the uh, doors. Alright, fair enough. Everyone's healed up. Everyone's got good stuff. Let's go. Let's head into the Sindar Ruins. And we can't open this door. We gotta look at this inscription thing here. Which Alex is gonna have to do. Alright, so let's continue through the Sindar Ruins. Alright, let's take the left here first. Grab Stone of Magic. Oh, we got new enemies here. Nightmares. You might remember these guys from, uh... You might remember them from, um... Super N1. Yeah, they... Yeah, they'll do random magic. Anyways, we got a, um, what is it, a stone of magic, which will bo permanently boost your, your magic, giving that straight to Rio. Magic by three, wowee. That rhymes, Margin, you know it does. Anyways, and then we pick up some Mega Medicine, great, let's go. Yeah, it's kind of shitty that we fought the Nightmare's first guy. A lot of the guys in this area are a little easier than that. over here. We can pick up a uh, magic item and the angry blow. Oh, come on. More nightmares. This one will just put you to sleep. Which isn't too bad. Could totally be worse. Alright. That fire one is pretty nasty. Making me use all my medicines. Alright, gotta come up over here, and over here, and, uh, yeah, let's go up first. 
Here we go. Here's some more new enemies. Uh, Megawatt and Creeper. You might remember these creepers from Super Nintendo 1. They will eat you and uh, chomp on you. They really stink. I guess if you, you're gonna have some trouble, you can always go back to that merchant. We get ourselves a gauntlet. Who's a. Uh, whose defense is shitty? Let's see. 52? 61. Looks like Gengen's is the worst. Let's give him. Boots. No. Where the hell is the gauntlet? Oh, he can't equip the gauntlet. No. Oh, well. Leggings. There we go. Alright. Continue. Go this way. Yeah, so these laser guys, this is probably the last time I'll show these guys. They're pretty hard. I got this nasty laser attack. Rikimaru is a uh, quote-unquote uh, tank, I guess. As you can see, his HP's are already much higher than everyone else's. How do I get over there? Hmm. Oh, okay. I got lower the water. Alright, where am I here? Over here. Let's go over here. And we can't get in here without a... Uh, without some sort of emblem or something. Alright, yeah, like, we get it. We need some sort of emblem thingy. Anyways, let's continue this way. And let's push this thing over on the switch so that it opens up. And... What we get here? The emblem! And shoulder pads. Can Gen Gen equip shoulder pads? Yes, you can. We got a round plate. Oh, we need to get that square plate, too. I'm sure of it. Open that. And now, oh, it will come over here. And actually, I'm going to stop the video here. And then the next episode, we'll continue exploring the Sindar Ruins. Yeah, if you start running low on supplies, I highly suggest to head back and get some stuff. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.